In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the best possible trading setup for under $1,000. I'm not just talking about PCs, but also, yes, for you Mac folks as well. All that and more coming up. Yeah, so I get asked a lot of questions about what's the best possible computer setup when learning how to day trade or maybe just starting out. And so uh, instead of talking about how many monitors you should have and the best possible gaming computer that is out there spending $5,000 plus, you don't need all of that to start out day trading. So I'm gonna go over the best setup for under $1,000, more specifically on laptops, because I think that the beauty of trading in the stock market is being able to do it wherever you want to do it. And so, you know, having that laptop, that power, that mobility allows you to do this from anywhere. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you those two, the two suggestions that I have for you for one for PC and also for Mac. So make sure you're sticking around for the entire video. I also have one uh, awesome tip uh, for you as well at the very end. So make sure you're sticking around towards the end of the video. But first, let me welcome you to my channel. Hi, my name is Brad and this is Own the Chaos. Trading in the stock market is a crazy and chaotic world. And so I've made it my mission to help you own it. So if you wanna see more uh, content such as this, please subscribe to this channel and also give me that awesome thumbs up as well. Uh, I've just passed 10,000 subscribers. It's been uh, fantastic. So thank you guys so much for your love and support. It's been a great ride so far. Looking forward to the next 10,000. Now, for some of you, you might be asking yourself, how can we find a good quality computer under $1,000? Well, I actually found one and I've been using the same laptop for uh, a year and a half and, it, and I actually got it for under $1,000 and it, it is a repurposed one, it's a refurbished uh, HP Envy. It's a 17 inch screen and why do I go with a 17 inch screen? I go with a 17 inch screen because of the type of windows that I need to have open. So if you guys have ever seen uh, my scanner set up before, I have quadrants on my screen that I have set up for my scanner, my uh, Thinkorswim, app as well as uh, TradeNet, all of those other things, Discord, you name it, having a bigger screen is definitely going to help you out in the long run when it comes to day trading. Now, you know, you might ha find it more convenient to have a smaller screen uh, as far as being able to take it uh, to and from places. But honestly, really having that big screen, that 17 inch monitor uh, on your laptop is really going to help you out. Uh, for me personally, I also like having a touch screen. So I have a 17 inch screen, but it's also a touch screen. So being able to scroll through, uh, speed is everything. So having it uh, be as convenient as possible is definitely one thing that you want to consider your uh, day trading setup for your computer. The next thing you wanna make sure that you have is a really good processor. Now, again, for my setup, for my personal uh, laptop computer, again, it's that HP Envy, uh, 17 inch screen, and I have the eighth gen quad core i7 by Intel. Now, it might not be the latest and greatest thing that's out there today on the market, but again, it is adequate enough to help you get uh, the things done that you need to get done. You can have multiple apps open. It doesn't slow down the computer. It's really fast. It's really great. And I just really love how it never seems to slow me down, no matter how many apps I have open or how many things I have processing all at once. If I'm making trades, if I have my scanners open, if I'm even recording this video, uh, I, you know, I, I have all kinds of things going on on my computer all at the same time, and it doesn't slow down one bit. And that's really going to help you out when it comes to making those uh, trades and executing them fast uh, and efficiently. And to go along with that, you wanna make sure that you have adequate RAM as well. So I wouldn't go any lower than 16. They have 32, even 64 gigs. I'm sure they have more than that. Uh, but 16 is the bare minimum that you're gonna wanna have for your computer setup for your PC. And you know, these are interchangeable. So th this goes along for your Mac users as well. And I'll get into the, the Mac model that I have suggested for you if you guys are, uh, you know, Apple users. Uh, but again, having that 16 gig gigs of RAM is the absolute minimum that I would go just because you really need that speed and, and that, uh, that capability to be able to do all kinds of things at once because you're going to have multiple apps open. I, I can't stress that enough. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the, the, your computer is fast enough. And again, I will leave links in the description uh, uh, through for some Amazon links. If you guys wanna go check those out, um, that way you don't have to go through all the, the list of check boxes. I have all those boxes checked for you as well. So go ahead and check those out in the, the links in the description below. And the HP model that I have selected 
selected for you is actually well below $1,000. It comes in at $779. So go check that out if that's something that you want to um, uh, you know, purchase. It takes all the guesswork out. And so this is the computer that I use every single day and it's well under $1,000. So if you wanna take the guesswork out of it and you don't have to make sure that you're checking all those boxes, go click the link down in the description below. It takes you right there. So all you gotta do is hit that buy button and you'll be on to your day trading career. Now for you Mac users, I had to condense this down a little bit. I had to go with a smaller computer just because as you probably know, Mac and Apple products are a little bit more expensive than your PC uh, products. And so what I ended up finding for you was the MacBook Pro 15 inch. It has the same criteria. It has a six, at least 16 gigs of RAM. It has a half a terabyte of memory for you. And it has that 15 and a half inch screen with the i7 core processor still. The only difference is, is that, you know, you're just gonna have a little bit less memory, a little bit smaller of a screen, but it's right around that $1,000 mark at $1,073. And again, if you wanna go check that out, I have that down in the description below. So it takes the guesswork out for you. All you gotta do is click that buy button and you're good to go. And really that's kind of it guys. There's, there's no other uh, magic formula. You don't need to have 15,000 uh, monitors. Now, yes, they do help you. So when you start to become a little bit more of a professional when it comes to trading and you really start diving deep into this thing, um, I would, you know, maybe suggest getting yourself a monitor or two, especially if you're just gonna be working from your desk. But if you wanna work away from home, having these laptops is really going to, you know, help you be able to do this wherever you want. And that's the beauty of day trading. You're, you're able to do and have the freedom of being able to work when and wherever you want. So uh, that's why I always suggest starting off with a laptop. And you know, if you wanna you know, graduate to having more monitors, of course, uh, they do help uh, in the long run, but you know, just starting out, there's no reason to go uh, and, and buy everything that you would need if you were you know, a 20 year veteran or 20, 20 year professional trader. I personally come from a background where I was an automotive technician and it was always hilarious when you see these guys, these rookies, if you will, come in and they buy the biggest box out there. They spend $20,000 on a box and can't afford to actually buy tools. And that's really kind of how I would see this. Don't go buying uh, you know, six, seven, eight monitors. I, you'd be surprised as, as some of the people that I see go and, and buy all this stuff and they still don't know how to trade. So start small and gradually work your way up. And finally, if you're sticking around towards the end of this video, I certainly appreciate it. And as promised, I'm giving you one final tip and that is this. Now I know this sounds probably pretty silly, but having an external mouse or a wireless mouse is really going to help you with speed, I've been talking about this the entire time about being able to make fast, efficient, and quick trades. And this is going to help you out a lot. Trying to fumble around on the uh, you know, uh, laptop mouse pad is really kind of going to hinder your uh, the, your efficiency when it comes to making uh, those trades fast and, and quickly. And having that external mouse is really going to help you out. It doesn't cost a lot, it's like five bucks. Just go out and get yourself one while you are uh, buying your new uh, trading computer. And you know, I'll put the link in that description as well if you wanna go check out a, a mouse. It really doesn't matter what kind of mouse it is, as long as you have something that's external that's outside of the this dumb little pad that you use. It drives me crazy whenever I have to use it. And I thought that it was a good tip for anybody uh, looking to get a new computer. Just make sure that you have that. And um, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. If you like this video, I certainly would appreciate a thumbs up. And let me know uh, what your thoughts are. Do you have other suggestions? Do you have better setups that maybe even come in at a lower price? Uh, leave the comments down below. I certainly wanna hear from you. And that's gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I will see you all before the bell and B. Smith is out. What's going on guys? Welcome to the BarCast. We are here at the horse you rode out on as opposed to the horse you came in on on the other side of this bar. Uh, we're in Fells Point, Maryland. It's uh, in, in a little, little tiny area of Baltimore City.